Hey guys, welcome back, BDC Car here, and this is our first video in a series that we're going to do where we do a detailed review of Injustice 2. And we're going to do it in the context of comparing it to Injustice 1. It still always feels funny saying that. So Injustice 2 obviously has the potential to appeal to a lot of the viewers who've been playing the original game with us for the last few years. Yeah, so we're going to take this opportunity to kind of go through everything. So as far as what we're going to talk about now, we're going to talk about the campaign. So we've got the basic campaign, which is very much similar to the original Injustice style of uh, playing offline mode. Um, but unfortunately, as we all now know, anybody who's played, you always require internet connection to play. Right, and you can see this, there's a different aesthetic, right? It's set up with a number of pages and a bunch of fights on each page. And mm -hmm. the last fight of each ladder has better rewards with the best on the last fight of the last ladder, very much like the bonus battles, right? Yeah. But instead of just a set of the same reward every time, you get credits. Plus, yeah, you can see on the right. Right, and a chance at uh, other really cool stuff. And the best rewards are gears and hero shards, but they don't come that often. Mm -hmm. And there's also a new feature if you're looking at it. So it's called the SIM card. Yeah, and you can see that right there. It's the second last thing right next to the credits. Bottom right, yeah. It lets you get the rewards for battle that you've already finished without having to fight again. And, okay, it's an interesting idea, and this can potentially save you a lot of time, but, all right, so you get the rewards, but it costs you the same energy, mm -hmm. and you get zero experience points. So boo and double boo. Meaning, you're using up the energy, so you're not going to actually get to play. You're playing less and your team doesn't get any better because it's getting no XP. Yeah. And it, you can see you consume it, right? You, we don't have a SIM card for this one. Right. So it's actually kind of inefficient. Yeah. The energy system, so the, the little lightning bolts. And we were there just a second ago. You can see we had like 107 energy or something yeah. like that. It's for your entire game. Uh, it doesn't matter who you're playing with. So if you fight in campaign mode with the same three characters over and over and over again, when you're done in campaign, you are done. Yeah. You don't get to play with other people because it's the energy for your game. Mm -hmm. So, And if you saw the number of the denominator, so the bottom number for your energies... It was 70 for us. Right. And now that's not the maximum energy that you can get since you can accumulate more from the objectives, I guess, which we'll talk about in a, a later video. But it is the maximum that you get when you spend you know, your precious gems to reload energy to play some more. Mm -hmm. And those are like the more premium currency. Yeah, so when you get past that, though, it means that you're not going to be accumulating any more while you're not playing, while you're while while just the clock is running. Um, now we're just gonna run through this battle a little bit. But once you finished any of the eight pages of battles, you unlock the ability to fight at a higher heroic level. And you saw that on the original uh, loading page. Harder fight, but better rewards. Now you can see here, the fight itself is a huge change from Injustice. Yeah. Um, Injustice one looks totally different even though the basic format is the same technically right, right. so it's a uh, three on three well technically it's not even three and three because sometimes they have more and you can have less too so instead of tap swiping and blocking tapping is still the same basic attack but swipes are all different so swiping up is jump forward and attack swiping forward or to the right is rush and attack uh swipe down is low attack like a sweep and um well, not always, but it typically is. And swiping mm -hmm. back or left is to retreat. And if you touch the symbol on the bottom left, it, it was to block. But you can also block by touching and holding two separate spots on the screen like you did with the original yeah, Injustice. Yeah, and that way they let you play the same way. But the biggest change, besides, you know, to me that, that kind of stuff is a little bit superficial. The biggest change is the ability to, to do combos. Mm -hmm. So generally it seems like everyone can do combos with two taps alternating with swipe to the right. But there are individual... Uh, sort of idiosyncrasies that are quite different. Mm -hmm. And as an example, Dr. Fate is the only one that we've seen who can do three consecutive range attacks. So backing up, uh, swiping left, and tapping three times really quickly. Everyone else mm -hmm. we've tried, only one range attack. And we'll talk more about this later, but the game makes it so hard to get new heroes that it almost doesn't matter what you know about different characters because it's almost impossible to choose who you get. So mm -hmm. you're basically stuck with whoever you get, unless you're willing to sink a lot of time and a lot of money, you'll be playing with those particular characters, so you, you need to just learn the nuances of those guys. Yeah. Okay. Um, next up, Online Arena.